Doodle Bud, going to come at you with a quick little science experiment today. Something I was on my mind. The other day I did a review of this Mahjong P136. I like to, instead of Mahjong, I like to call it Majan. Anyways, I weighed the pen empty, put some ink in it, and then weighed it again. And the difference between the weights, it was 1.4 grams. And we're assuming the density of the ink is 1. So it's the same as water. So 1.5 grams means 1.5 milliliters of ink. But... Is that a good assumption? Were we Are we wrong? I don't think we are, but I have a little graduated cylinder, 10 milliliter. I have a scale. I have some water in the wife's water bottle way over there. And I got some really saturated ink. California Teal might as well do something with it. So let's see, is the density of ink really one or is it off? And all of our ink volume calculations, have they been grossly wrong as well? So we got a little notebook, we'll record it. We've got a, some pens. So we got some ink, we're going to have some fun. So really, we're going back to about like grade nine uh, science class. So 19 and a half grams for this graduated cylinder. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill this up to the line here with water. And I'm going to see, it should, this, we're going to check the scale as well. It should record 10 grams. All right, let's uh, top it off together. We should go to the bottom of the meniscus there. I don't know if the camera angle is right. It's a tough one to do. Oh, call that good. So off camera, I double checked it, added just a few more drops to get right on the 10 mil line. So let's put this on here. I put in 10 milliliters. Density of water is one. It should read 10 grams and we're 9.82. Uh, what? Well, let's, let's have a look. Let's read the fine print. Aha, so you see it says 10 milliliters plus or minus 0.2. So this is technically in spec. So in our calculation, we're gonna, our volume is going to be 9.81 milliliters instead of 10, 9.8, let's just call it. So let's jot that down. So for you at home that aren't, uh, you know, topped up on your physics or chemistry, density equals mass over volume. So we recorded this. We know this, it's one for water. And we measured out 10 milliliters. Okay, um, and it should have been 10, but it's 9.8. So that lets us know, like this hasn't changed, that there's a bit of an error in the volume of that. So we're knowing that now this is not a 10 milliliter cylinder, uh, graduated cylinder, it's a 9.8 milliliter cylinder. So I'm gonna put in 10 mils of ink. It's really gonna be 9.8 according to this thing. And then we're gonna compare the mass, if it, I can't see it being out by much, it should be very, very close to that. But let's find out if the ink is significantly more dense. Emptied out the water, dried it out, and you can see, I think that was like 19.5 was how much this thing weighs if you roll back the footage. So the scale could be drifting a little bit too, so there's gonna be some error in that. Let's see, yeah, the mass has changed a little bit. Let's just clear it. Let's see how this thing is checking out 50 grams, 50 grams. Okay, so let's put this back on. Yeah, 19.47. Okay, we'll clear it. I'm going to fill it to the 10 milliliter mark, which is 9.8, and then we'll compare the weights. And just look at this stuff. Look at that bottle. Like that is absolutely gnarly. This is why I just don't use the ink. Look what has happened. Any ink that gets on there just a sheeny crusty nasty mess so i'm picking this ink because it's very saturated you i don't think we're going to observe any difference in density but if you would observe it you're going to observe it in an ink that's very saturated and look how saturated this is so give me a minute to crack this open here goes nothing i'm probably gonna have to get this under the sink holy cow oh, there we go but look at just i Oh, this is why. Just crud. Look at all of that on display. Gosh. Look at that. I guess I should wash this off. That's just terrible. So I got my little uh, Fanmu filler here to fill up the graduated cylinder. This will take a few pumps. And I just don't want to get this mess all over the place. So it's filled up and I had to really watch it as I filled it because the ink is so saturated you can't see those lines anymore. But I, I think I'm right on the 10 milliliter or in actuality 9.8 milliliter line.
By the time I finished filling up the cylinder here, the scale auto shut off, but let's see. It was 19.47 was the calibrated weight of just the cylinder, and it's uh, 29.38, so the math tells me uh, this comes out to 9.9 .9 grams versus the expected 9.8. Okay, so what does that mean? So the density of the California teal, we'll call it DCT, we'll look at this, it should be one if everything is equal. So we recorded a mass of 9.9 .9 because we had to divide it by a volume of 9.8. So what that means is the density works out to 1.01. So we essentially have a 1% error in either the density between water and the ink. We're off by that or just experimental error. The scale, that's going to have error in it. Me trying to get exactly the same amount of ink in here. When they say even on this has an error of 0.2 millimeters, I was within 0.1. So that's actually not too shabby and it's it's tough to see it because the ink is so dark so i i think this is within experimental error and even if there is a little bit of differentiation which there would be i don't know if the scale could ever pick it up but i'm going to say that the density of a very saturated ink is equal to the density of water what does that mean on the reported ink capacity of said pen well one there's more error in how you fill it than uh, potential error in this measurement. But let's just say that's a perfect filling pen, does the same amount all the time, depending on the difference in density between ink and water, it might read actually be 1.39 milliliters of ink capacity versus 1.4. But I think we'll let that slide and say that density as far as your basic equipment, if you have a balance, you could measure it versus a scale. But the density of ink for all intents and purposes for fountain pens. Is that the same of water? Therefore, we can interpret the volume to be the same as the mass. I was thinking of confirming this test some time ago, but look at this mess I got just from doing something so simple. That was kind of the main reason I've never done this, but I think for all intents and purposes, we can confirm that when we weigh a pen and we do the difference full and empty, and we measure Whatever weight we get, 1.4 grams, the density is the same. So that's also 1.4 milliliters of ink capacity. All right, I cleaned this serious mess up now with this California teal. I swear it's the bane of my existence, but uh, I don't know if anyone was watching this video. This is pretty terrible, but I had to know this for myself. And there's the odd other freak out there that uh, was a little bit inquisitive with this one as well. Hope I answered it and scratched that itch. We've got some more coming. We'll catch you next time.